Don't you f go to sleep, cut! No! Shh! Shh! Hold that, baby. That's how we do it, baby. That's how we do it. There's no shortcuts here. We don't play those f games. The only f game that we play is the one to win. And that's what I'm doing here, baby. Ain't no shortcuts. You give it everything all the time. You give it everything you f have. And you hold on tight. And if you don't die, you keep going. As simple as that. And welcome back to your mum's favorite channel on YouTube, Cold Strength. It is squat day, Zercher squats, and today is the day. Today is that motherfucking day I've been working towards for the last 12 weeks. Every single session that I have chased pain, that I have found myself in the most uncomfortable of positions that I could ever fucking put myself in, all those weeks have come to this point where it's max testing day and I get to fucking put it to the test. I get to see if I've got what it takes. And my goal, 600 pounds. That was my goal when I started this training cycle 12 weeks ago. You know, 600 pounds is 272 and a half kilograms. That's a big motherfucking Zercher squat and it's very uncomfortable, let me tell you right now. So, fingers crossed, today is the fucking day. You know I'm gonna leave it all on the platform. This is, uh, this is what I do, this is what I love, and I can't wait for this fucking fight. I cannot wait for this scrap, and you know I'm gonna make it my motherfucking bitch, because that is what we do, baby. And let me know, you know, if you guys think if you guys think that I'm capable of hitting a 300 kilo Zercher squat, maybe in the next 12 to 16 weeks, drop a comment. You know, I wanna know if you guys even wanna see that shit. Would you like to see me Zercher squat 300 fucking kilos? Let me know, cause you know, if you say yes, I gotta fucking do it. That's how I am, baby. I like a challenge. And also hang around, cause after the fucking Zercher squats, I'm gonna break down the low bar squat for you. Today I reintroduced some low bar squats as my accessory movement, as you know, that will probably be the main squat movement for the next month or so moving forward after today's Zercher squats, cause I need to have a little bit of a break from them. They are very demanding on the body, and with this big deadlift comp coming up, I need to start prioritizing those deadlifts more. So, you know, hang around for that. I'm gonna walk you through all the technique, um, the setup, everything you need to know about a low bar squat. You know, I think it's gonna be very informative and I think it's gonna help you because a lot of people do struggle with squats. They say they get sore knees, sore hips, sore back, they can't do it, this and that. Fuck that shit, that's excuses. You know you can squat, you know you should squat, so I'm gonna help you squat, because that's what I do, baby. But now, it's time to get warmed up, it's time to get cracking into these fucking Zercher squats. I can't wait, baby. I'm gonna be in the monolith today, because, you know, the limiting factor was me passing out last time. So. Monolift, I think we've got a good chance of hitting that fucking 600 pounds. Either way, I'm gonna hit it or fucking die. Let's go, baby. All right, baby, so uh, first set, empty bar. Beginning of the fucking session. Yeah, this is the uh, max testing day, baby. This whole training cycle has been uh, getting me ready for this, so. We're cracking into it. It's a fucking good day for it. 20 kilos, empty bar. Do a few reps, get the body moving. In the mono today, obviously. Ooh, easy peasy. Chuck, uh, we'll chuck 20 kilos aside, 60 kilos total. And obviously uh, in the mono lift, because uh, as you've seen my last heavy session, you know, 260, the limiting factor obviously now is not passing out. So hopefully by running in the mono, I don't have to step forwards or backwards. I can take a big breath, unrack it and go. So that's kind of the purpose of this. And we saved it for our max testing days. So hopefully it's not too awkward with this in the fucking way, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling hopeful. Let's make this our bitch. Set, uh, set one of these with 60 kilos. We'll do two of them. We'll go five reps each. As I said, just getting the body moving, getting the knees warm, getting the, uh, the back warm, and also the rest of the fucking body. Ooh. 
Ooh, Easy. So yeah, that's uh. Oh, this one. Is that this Thank you. So yeah, um, it's definitely very different when you don't have to walk backwards or forwards, but I definitely have to be careful of this thing. When I stand up, very close to hitting my head, but it is what it is. Should be right. All right, set two of these, and then we're going to move on to uh, 100 kilos next. Another set of five. Nice and easy, baby. Okay. Easy peasy. Moving on. Whew. All right, 100 kilos. We'll go uh, four reps. Again, baby. Smoke them. You know, these warm ups should feel very easy, especially if I uh, want to hit a new PR today. So. Let's get it, baby. All right, 140 on the bar. This is uh, body weight for me. So we'll go three reps, smoke them, and then move on, motherfucker. Let's get it. Yeah. Thank you. Ooh, feeling good. We'll go uh, one, 180 next. 180 next, baby. Let's fucking go. Down to singles now. Okay, time to switch on, baby. 180 on the bar. Up and down, motherfucker. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, baby, let's go. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, 210 kilos on the bar. Uh, probably my second or third last warm-up. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how we go. Uh, but hey, it's getting pretty heavy now. This is the, you know, I've got to fucking switch on. Um, I cannot afford to be fucking around with this kind of weight now. So, you know, I've got to move this well enough to justify increasing the weight as well. So every warm up counts. You know, I don't get to hit a PB unless I can fucking, you know, earn it, right? Gotta earn the fucking right. All right, one rep. Come on! Let's go, you motherfucker. Not bad. It's pretty difficult with the mono though to be fair. Feels a bit fucking funky but I got a couple more sets to work it out. Okay so uh, 210 kilos is done. I've put 245 kilos in the bar now. This is my final warm up. Um, yeah, there's no point making smaller jumps. You know, I've got to save my energy for that, you know, for that top set. You know, it's about that one set and I've got to save everything I can for that, you know, that big effort, that big push. So you know, I'm feeling pretty fucking nervous, pretty anxious to be honest with you. Like this shit is stressful, this is high risk. You know, last time I did 260, you know, I got a little niggle. Uh, I got you know, pretty lucky as well, some of those sets there. So, you know, it's always an adventure, um, but I'm fucking pumped, man. Like, you know, it's the, it's, it's the process. It's, I enjoy 
I enjoy this fear that I feel because you know we all feel it. We all feel fear. We all feel scared. Um, you know, just because we face things and, and go through with things doesn't mean that we don't feel it. Um, it's important to feel things. You know, it's, it's how you know you're alive, and it's how you know what's important. Um, and to me, you know, that's 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 huge. So I've got 245 on here now. I've adjusted a couple of things. I brought the monolift down one because on the unrack on the last set, as the bar gets heavier, it starts to bend more and it got caught on the hooks. It's getting a little difficult, a little awkward now, um, but I've just got two more to go. Two more big pushes, two more singles, and I've just got to get it done. So, no excuses. No, nothing, nothing stopping me here now. It's me versus me, baby. And I'm gonna get it done, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna prevail because that's what we do. You know, this whole training cycle has been about this fucking one lift. This one lift right now comes down to this, it's as simple as that. Uh, the success of this training cycle rests on one lift. So, I'm gonna get ready for the next one. Let's go, baby. Come on! No. Last warm up, baby, 2.45. Let's go! So try and pull up. Try and pull it out as fast as you can. Something to go straight down. Okay. Come on. Up and down, baby. Come on. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Oh, final warm up. <laughs> One more, baby. One more fucking push. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. When it comes back up to the top, like, as I come out of here, I can't see anything. I can't hear anything. It's just black pressure. I'm just kind of feeling for the rocks, hoping for the best, so. Thank you, Sarah, for running the mono efficiently there. One more, baby. One more. 600 pounds next. Let's go. All right, so uh, last warm-up, 245 kilos. Hey, it fucking moved pretty well. So that justifies me making that jump to 600 pounds now. 272 and a half kilos loaded on the bar behind me. This is a huge fucking PR. I don't expect it to be easy. There's no guarantees here. This is all in, baby. All in. Hold on tight and don't go to sleep. That's the goal here. You know, the hardest, well, in that last set, as I said, when you get back to the top, there's nothing left. I can't see shit, that's just holding, holding on for dear life, motherfucker, you know what I mean? Um, you know, with this one, I may even just bring it back down to the slings if I get the first one. So, hey, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna bother putting it back on the rack again, even though I'm in the mono. I'm just going to bring it back down to the safety slings. Um, I just feel like that's gonna be easier. You know what I mean? I don't have to worry about anything except going down and standing up. So, you know, 272 on the bar. This is some real shit, baby. Um, some real shit. I'm fucking hungry for this. You know, this is a little thing that just keep me going, ticking those boxes, getting those goals a little stronger each week, each month. That's how we do it, baby. That's how we do it. There's no shortcuts here. We don't play those fucking games. The only fucking game that we play this is the one to win. And that's what I'm doing here, baby. Ain't no shortcuts. You give it everything all the time. You give it everything you fucking have. And you hold on tight. And if you don't die, you keep going. As simple as that. Let's fucking go, baby. Come on! Come on! Here we go, baby. Everything, fucking everything. Hold on, let's go! Come on! Shish! Shish! Ha! Fucking dog! Ha! Hold on! Don't you fucking go to sleep, cunt! Come on! No! Shh! Shh! Hold that, buddy. Shh! Yes! Yeah, baby! 
suck my fucking cock, motherfucker. Yeah, drum boy. Yeah, boy. Ah! <laughs> And uh, that is the fucking top set, baby. Fucking smoked that shit. 600 pounds, 272 and a half kilos. Yeah, that was the initial goal 12 weeks ago. That was why I put myself through this every single week, just so I could get to that number. It's fun, that isn't it? Put yourself through fucking pain, through suffering. You're chasing that fucking burn, chasing that hurt, all just to fucking hit a number on a bar. But as simple as that sounds, and as dumb as that may sound, that's all I fucking need, baby. That keeps me going, keeps me hungry keeps me sharp, you know, keeps me moving forward, keeps my eyes forward, so I'm not looking back, baby, always looking forward, always looking to get bigger, always looking to get stronger, that's how it goes, now obviously, um, I'm probably going to do another training cycle of these pretty soon, I might take a few weeks off uh, and work on a few low bar squats, so what I'm going to do now is, uh, you know, get some weight off the bar, chuck, a, chuck the, probably the cambered bar on there, the curved bar, I like squatting with that, it's easier on the shoulders and the arms, but I'm gonna get back into some back squatting and uh, I might even talk you through a few technical cues as I get back into it. It's been a long time since I've actually done these kind of squats. I haven't done any low bar squats since my competition, which was around three months ago, I think. Maybe not quite three months ago, but it was at least eight, eight or nine weeks ago. Uh, so I'm gonna get, get through those, get a couple sets in, nothing crazy, um, but I'm gonna, again, maybe I'll give you a, a bit of a walkthrough with that low bar, because that's gonna help me um, sharpen up, you know, and get back up to speed as well. You know, I definitely find that that teaching uh, something helps me learn it better and learn it faster. Not that I don't know how to do it, I'm just relearning the motor pattern, but talking through it will definitely help, so why not? And hopefully it helps you guys as well. So, fucking sick. I'm pumped on that huge PB. Uh, I'll get a few weeks off these now, I think. Let the body recover, because it's fucking very difficult. It's very hard on the body, this, this movement. Um, but I'm definitely, yeah, kind of excited to get back into some regular squats. Um, we'll get cracking into that now. Talk soon, baby. Let's go. <sighs> All right, so first set of low bar squats. Now, it's been a little while. It's been a little while for me. Uh, the main difference between a low bar squat and a high bar squat uh, is obviously the bar placement. Uh, the low bar squat will allow you to use more hips and posterior chain, where the high bar squat uh, will generally have you using more quadriceps. Now, for most people, you're going to be stronger with a low bar squat and the posterior chain because I think you can just generally use more larger muscle groups to move the weight. Um, so low bar squat, if you're gonna be a power lifter or you want your goal is to move maximal weight, I definitely think you should get used to doing a low bar squat, not that you shouldn't do high bar squats also, should do both. But when we're competing, when we're peaking, you know, we're basing our main movement off the low bar squat. So I'm gonna get in some low bar squats now because you know, the, the Zercher squats that I've been doing are very quadricep dominant, whereas this is gonna really hit my hips a little bit more and my glutes. So we'll get cracking into this. I'm gonna chuck some pauses in there as well at the bottom. When I get back into movements, I like the pauses. It just slows the movement down, it breaks into two parts, and you really think about the positioning in the bottom, which is also very important. But I'll just quickly talk you through the setup as we go. So for me, I use this barbell because my elbows and shoulders are a bit fucked, and it doesn't really require me to bring my hands in and get really tight. Now, when I'm doing competition, obviously I'll, I'll bring the comp bar back in and, and do all that uncomfortable shit, but I don't have any comps coming up, so I don't need to right now, so I can save my elbows and shoulders when I really need them. All right, so hand placement on the bar. Now it's as close as your hand, as close as your mobility will allow you. That's kind of the ideal hand position. The closer, the better, to be honest. When you're a big guy, you know, it's, it's a little bit more difficult. So you know, don't stress too much about that. So hands on the barbell, we're gonna swing under the bar. Now we're gonna try and line that bar up, kind of we're gonna sit on the rear delt. All right, we're gonna squeeze our, our back as hard as we can. Shoulder blades together. I'm gonna stand up, step back. All right, now when I'm here, I'm thinking my feet are just outside of hip width. Kind of around shoulder width, maybe a little bit closer. Uh, I have a pretty narrow squat stance. I like to stay more compact. Now what I'm thinking about here is with the floor, with my feet, I'm digging my big toe into the floor my heels in the floor, and my pinky toes in the floor. Now I'm gripping the floor like a claw, and I'm squeezing out, I'm externally rotating out as if I'm trying to spread the floor apart, okay? At the same time I'm doing that, I'm squeezing my glutes and flexing my quadriceps. That's my lower body set. Now, I'm gonna take a big breath through my belly, and then I'm gonna brace, and I'm gonna squeeze my upper back, draw my rib cage down, and descend into the squat.
easy peasy. So yeah, um, I'll talk you through, I guess, more of the cues as we keep working up in weight. I'll go to 105 next, and we'll just keep working up in some, some triples. Not gonna go overly heavy, you know. I've already done my hard work today. This is just getting the, in the groove, getting that technique nice. So over the next few weeks, I can continue to progress that towards something decent. But hopefully you can learn something in the meantime. Whew. All right, gang, uh, set two, 105 kilos. Now this time, pay attention to, you know, I guess how my knees travel forward. Again, it's okay to push your knees forward over your toes. They're not going, I'd say, over my toes, but you know, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to push them on an angle so it was going over my pinky toe. So there's external rotation as I'm driving my knees out, but I'm not just aimlessly trying to open my legs as much as possible. You need to have that big toe in the ground still. So don't push out so hard that you lose contact with the floor. That's why it's important to drive your big toe into the ground as hard as possible and then externally rotate out from there. But that is keeping you grounded and you're externally rotating outwards and pushing slightly forwards on an angle. So you're pushing your knees out over the direction of your pinky toe. Now that's what I think is an ideal squat, at least for me. Uh, and obviously the people that I coach, they are some pretty, some pretty consistent cues, although everyone is slightly different. That's not a, a bad you know, general rule for everybody. So I'll do three pauses here. Thinking about squeezing my upper back into the barbell, setting my hips under the bar so when I stand up, it's nice and easy to unrack it. Three steps, two, three. I'm set up. Okay, big toes in the ground. Squeeze my glutes, flex my quads, big breath, rib cage down, descend. Easy peasy, baby. Three, uh, three reps, 105 kilos. Uh, I'll go up to 145 next, I'll chuck a belt on. Again, just focusing on technique, fluidity of movement. It feels pretty nice. Body's a little beat up though, after the zercher. So I'm not gonna push this, but yeah, we'll go up next and uh, I'll keep talking to you. Let's go, baby. All right, 145 kilos on the bar. Another three reps. Uh, so I guess so far, you know, I've gone over you know, the setup. I've got, uh, gone over the external rotation from the hips. Uh, this set, I'm emphasizing the bracing, okay? So when we brace, when we say big chest for a squat, it's a little misleading for some people, okay? Because when you say big chest, people just go, they stick their chest out as far as they can. But what happens is they also flare their rib cage. That's not what bracing is, okay? We don't want to expand from here as much as possible. Big chest means we don't want to be folding over like this. But how do we achieve a big chest without flaring our rib cage. When we take our big brace and our big breath, we think about filling our stomach with air and then drawing our rib cage down towards our pelvis. So it's a squeeze downwards. The chest stays big and proud, but the rib cage is being pulled down towards the pelvis, okay? So that's what we want you to pay attention to on this set. Three reps. Let's go. Use every single repetition as an opportunity to get better. You know, that's what these warm-ups are. They're not just fucking get under the bar and getting warm for the top set. It's about perfecting the movement so when you get to your top set, you don't have to think about it so much. I might actually uh, put the rack height up for the next one. It's a little bit too low, but apart from that, all good. We'll go up to 185 next, four plates. Let's go. Whew. All right, so 185 kilos on the bar, four plates. Now, you may be asking, what is this band that I've just put around my shins? And why is it not around my knees? Because typically you see bands around people's knees. Well, let me give you a hint. 
If you haven't tried the band just above your ankles, give it a try, okay? Now, what does it help with? It helps with the grounding aspect of the squat. That's the hardest part for some people. When they're trying to learn to externally rotate through the hips, right? What happens is they push out from here and their big toe generally rotates off the, sorry, comes off the ground. They, don't, they lose that contact with that big toe pressing into the ground, which is just so important. You know, we, our base, our grounding is so important in terms of force production, balance, stability, external rotation, all of it, okay? You need to have an anchorage point and your big toe is the anchor in which you externally rotate off. So with the band around the shins, that really allows you to feel the floor a lot better. It allows you to stabilize yourself and I guess glue yourself to the ground better, get that big toe into the floor and still be able to produce that external rotation. Um, and I was, as I said, it's been a while since I squatted. So this is a pretty useful little tool um, to help me get back to where I was and get that, you know, that motor pattern, that, that uh, muscle memory back, as they call it. Uh, this, uh, yeah, it feels good. It, it definitely helps. If you also get, you know, pain in your hips and knees when you squat, uh, this will help greatly because the reason you get pain in your hips and knees is because you're probably not squatting correctly. You're not using the correct motor patterns. Uh, you're not loading up correctly. And, and this kind of forces you to load up correctly um, and eliminates pain because you're actually effectively using your hips and glutes because you're grounded properly. So I'm going to stop talking now and do three reps. Hey, Em, do you reckon you could uh, run the monitor for us three reps? All right. Let's go. Three pauses. Yep, that's an easy. Same setup every single time. Hands on the barbell, swing it under, squeeze up and back nice and tight. Feet just outside of hip width. Big brace. Probably got one more jump, nothing crazy. Do another set, uh, and then I might drop back and get some more rep work in. If it feels good, hopefully the information helps. Fuck me. Whew. All right, uh, probably last set of ascending triples here. I'll probably just work up to this 225 kilos. Pauses, um, as I said, I'm not going crazy heavy. First time doing these in nearly three months, just getting back in the groove, feeling it out a little bit, and it feels pretty good. It feels pretty good. I think I've uh, said all there is to say in terms of the technique today. I'm gonna do a full squat tutorial probably in the next week or two, so keep an eye out for that. But you know, this is a pretty good explanation of how to do things for a low bar squat. We'll do one more set here. Focus on quality. Whew, I'm fucked, let's go. Yeah. Cheeky extra two reps. I mean, it feels pretty heavy, but to be fair, I also just did a 600 pound Zercher squat, and I'm fucked, it's hot, and this is still 500 pounds, so fuck it. Cry me river. Whew. All right, now instead of doing more squats, because I'll be fucking completely honest with you, my lower back, hips and knees, after doing those Zercher squats, and the low bar squats are a little bit tender and uh, I think I'm gonna take the pressure off some of my body and get some high rep leg press in a couple sets of 20 just to blow these quads out, finish them off, finish with that motherfucking fatality. Let's kill these fucking legs because I want them to get bigger and stronger, motherfucker. So two by 20, finish off some fucking intensity. We push hard, baby, let's go.
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is fucked. I love this shit. Yeah, I'm alive. I'm alive. You know. I guess that's the main thing, right? <laughs> as long as we're alive, we can keep fucking training. <sighs> All right, second set, final set. Finish strong, baby. 20 more, I can see the fucking, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. That's probably my death waiting for me, to be honest with you, but we'll find out soon. Let's go. <clears throat> And that is the session done. PR with the Zercher squats. Fucking happy days. Stoked with that 600 pounds, 272 and a half kilos. As I said, that was my goal when I started this training cycle was to nail that fucking 600 pounder. You know, uh, I mean, there was parts of me that thought that it'd be fucking a little bit too far away, but I was pretty hungry for it. I came in week after week. I made myself very uncomfortable and did the things that I needed to do to get there. So, you know, there's a message in that. But obviously, you know, that's, I'm happy for now. But ask me that question in three hours and I'll be disappointed again, ready for more because that's how this works. So as I said before, if you think that 300 kilos is possible, drop a comment and let me know. You know I'm probably gonna get after it and you know I'm probably gonna get it done. Scratch that, we'll definitely get it done. Just a matter of time, just a matter of time. And I hope the uh, low bar squat tutorial helped you, the walkthrough. Now, why would you listen to me with squats, you may ask? Well, let me just tell you, I have squatted over 905 pounds, 415 kilos. Now, I think that's 910 pounds. I've squatted that in competition. So I've got, I, fuck, I know what it takes. You know what I mean? I walk the walk. I'm not sitting here telling you what I think will get you a huge squat. I'm telling you what will get you a huge squat because I've done it myself and I've coached others to do it as well. It just fucking works. And it's really simple thing you have to remember is there's no magic pill there's no shortcut there's no amount of steroids that are going to get you a 400 kilo squat unless you do everything in between as i said no shortcuts no easy way there fucking guarantee you that talking from experience so you know apply those cues to your training watch your squat go up as i said i'm going to do a full squat tutorial next week or so uh, which will again help you more i'll give you more of a checklist style tutorial and break it down for you uh, and perhaps you know show you some more of the differences between things like low bar squats high bar squats you know, how to utilize pause squats tempo squats for variations etc etc you know but now fuck it i'm gonna enjoy myself for a few hours and maybe be happy maybe uh, until the realization dooms on me that 600 pounds ain't shit because there's someone out there who's probably doing 700 so I guess that's the next one, baby. Until fucking next time, go to the gym and do your squats. Stop fucking skipping leg day. It doesn't look good for you.